Hi, I'm Mark Ryman, Learning Center Agronomist, and welcome to a pretty wet Friday morning here at the Learning Center. Uh, we actually got 1.66 inches of rain last night, and prior to that, we'd only had about 700 uh, over the last, I think, 30 to 32 days. So, definitely gone through a dry spell where we've been irrigating. But I wanted to update you a little bit on what we're seeing in terms of kind of that soybean water use and some end of season irrigation decisions on soybeans. So the soybeans behind me, uh, these four rows were planted here on June 1st. They are exactly at about the R5 growth stage. You're seeing some small seeds start to set in those upper pods. And so you've got about six and a half inches of water left to go on those beans. This row right here was actually planted on the 1st of May, and it's getting close to R6. It's still got a little ways to go, so we've got about uh, five inches of water use left to go on those beans. And when we're looking at water use, you know, a morning like this one where it's, it's cool and cloudy, uh, the soybeans aren't keeping up with uh, their typical daily water use, which is probably around um, 0.2 to, to 0.23 inches per day, uh, but then you'll have those really hot conditions that spike it up. And what I kind of want to remind you of again is that we do need, you know, six and a half inches of water here, about five inches of water here. My probe tells me we've got about um, three inches of plant available water in the soil right now. And so if you look at that, if we don't get any more rain, you're looking at about three and a half more inches of irrigation here. Um, and about one and a half inches on these beans that were planted earlier. The key thing that I really want you to remember though is you don't want to stress those beans uh, going into that R6, R6.5 growth stage where you're still doing a little bit of um, seed filling, still setting that final seed size on those beans. That's when we can see a lot of yield loss. Um, we've done some research on that and kind of Brian mentioned in an earlier video just showing we really don't want to stress those beans at the end of the season uh, because as you stress them, you know, if we have really hot, dry conditions like we've had over the past month and that repeats kind of at the end of August and into September, uh, you could reduce your seed size and dramatically reduce what you end up hauling to the elevator. So just a reminder on those beans, kind of where we're at, get set in your head a little bit, maybe how much water you've got left to go to the end of the season and then a reminder that you really don't want to short them uh, during those last few weeks because that's when a, the seed size is set and, you know, and that can kind of give you, give or take, a lot of bushels on your final soybean crop. That's all for this morning. Um, we look forward to get, bringing you more agronomic information next week. Thanks for watching this video from the Gothenburg Water Utilization Learning Center. For more information, please call 308-537-4500.